In the previous two videos, we introduced the data set that we'll be working with, created the title knowledge base along with the associated domains and a comply with domain. I also, in the last video, demonstrated how to create rules for that composite domain. This next video will deal with working with a data quality project and using the title demo to actually process this data. To begin with, we will create a new data quality project by clicking on the new data quality project button. We will give this project a name of title project and where it says use knowledge base, I'm going to select, select the knowledge base that I created previously, title demo, and as you can see the appropriate composite domain with its um, other domains that are included in it are already there. I click next to proceed. And so now my project has been defined and a knowledge base chosen that will have four steps, the first of which is mapping. I'm going to map, choose the source. In this case, it will be an Excel file. I can browse to the file, the need title Excel file. Select that. Select the worksheet. It was already selected for me. And now my source columns, I need to map to my domain, my domains in my composite domain. So, first I will use title. And because my domains I created have the same name, I will select title from my domain as well. For next, I will select gender, and then gender, my gender domain. Then I will select the last marital status column from my source, and then the marital status domain. Everything looks good, and I can now proceed to step two, cleansing. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, this cleansing step will be very quick because there is very little processing that is needed for cleansing. I'm just applying business rules. Um, so we can see in the bottom left that 290 rows were processed. I don't have to worry about any other statistics because I have not, I have not cleaned the data at this point. I'm just going to click next to, win, to proceed to step three, to manage and view results. So now, um, again, because I'm not cleansing the data, in this portion I would have an interactive experience with the data to correct it. I'm not going to do that at this point. So I'm going to proceed to the last step, step four, export. Click next. Now I can export my data. I can export it to SQL Server or as a CSV or Excel file, I'm going to export as a CSV. I'm going to choose my destination. And so that destination looks good. I'm going to name this correct title CSV. And in terms of my output format, I'm going to simply go with the data format. The last step is to click on the export button to actually export that file to that location. So the file has now been exported successfully. Click close. And now when I pull up that CSV file, this is what I get. My title column is now populated. And if you look over at the marital status and gender fields, you can see it's been populated correctly. For example, for example this male now has MR in his title. The single female has MS. And then a married female as MRS. The only additional uh, 
column here is this title enrichment column, which uh, is, if you remember, the definition of my composite domain. So this concludes um, this demonstration of how to use DQS to implement business rules. Business rules through DQS can be simply implemented by even non-technical people to enhance, enrich, and clean um, target data sets. Thank you.